what if I told you there's already a GMRS repeater inside your house? So the first repeater you make could be a very simple one, and all you really need is two spare walkie-talkies, one for receiving and one for transmitting. And so let's just take repeater channel 7, for example. Um, the repeater will work the opposite of your radio. So if you look at my radio here, I'm on repeater channel 7, and that is 4627, okay? When you transmit, it jumps up 5, okay? So the way to remember how your repeater should be configured is to listen up and talk down. So if you can recall listen up and talk down, you can basically make a repeater out of two walkies. So grab your two spare walkies. Here we've got the uh, Baofeng UV9G. Um, the receiving walkie could be the UV5G because you're not going to be transmitting on it, so you're not breaking any laws. Um, and here we've got the Radiotity GM30. There it is. Um, you want to put these in frequency mode so you can see uh, the megahertz that you're going to be transmitting or receiving on. For both of these to do that, you turn them off and hold down the menu button and then turn them back on. And that's how you switch modes. I read the manuals. So here they are, both in the proper mode. You can see I've gotten this one, gosh, it's hard to see, set to 462.7. So since that's, the, since that's down, uh, this is going to be my uh, transmitting because it taught you to know, talk down. And then this will be my listen up. So this will be my receiving. So here's the two walkies. Uh, one is down and one is up. When I queue up um, my Wotion uh, on the repeater channel seven, you'll see this happen. See how the, um, the receiving one lit up, the listen up, the higher frequency lit up. The receiving radio's job will be to make noise with whatever it picks up. So I recommend turning its volume knob to about two thirds of the way up and you're done with that radio. The transmitting radio's job is going to be to retransmit those sounds over the air. And so I recommend that you since you're not going to be there to push the button, you turn on the Vox function, which, which just turns sound, it sound activates transmit. So you, instead of pushing the button to talk, you just yell at it and it automatically turns on and transmits your yelling. So I would turn on Vox, turn your sensitivity to 10. Um, on this radio, Vox is menu item three on Radiotity. And on the Baofeng, it's menu item four. You'll find it in there. Just turn it on to 10. And then also on the transmitting radio, the down, the talk down radio with the lower megahertz frequency, um, turn on the Roger beep. I know that's not cool when just talking in a simplex way, but it's nice to know when the repeater's done repeating. So I would turn on the Roger beep. I'll do that now. Notice I didn't add any CTCSS codes or tones to the receiving or transmitting radio. That's because there's not a lot of traffic. If there was a lot of traffic in the airwaves, it might be good to add a tone so that your homemade repeater only wakes up when you want it to. Um, the batteries in these radios last all day, so it would be pretty easy to tape the radios together, throw them in like a Tupperware box, and hoist them up to the top of a tree if you're out camping or hiking to serve as a temporary repeater, like a one day repeater. Um, that would work just great. So what I've done is I've set them on their cradles facing each other in the next room. And so let's see what happens now if I do this. Testing homemade repeater testing. So that was the Roger beep from the repeater, not from this radio. So that means I heard it or it heard me and then I heard it again. So that's a good way to test the range of your repeater is by listening for that Roger beep. And welcome to my very messy garage. I don't know if you can see up here, but I've got two antennas I bought from Amazon, one over there. I have no idea how far apart they need to be or, and I'm not even caring about a ground plane or a cookie sheet, but I've got one over there and I've got another right there. Can you see it up there? 
So they're still inside. This is a really lazy way to go about this, but you could set your two spare radios in your garage and uh, have a little repeater. I'll link below everything that I've used to do this. You don't really need to spend any, anything other than just having those two radios, but I will go ahead and share that stuff. I have not done an exhaustive test of the distance that I can get from my garage repeater system, but it did work south of Morse Road on High Street here in Columbus, Ohio, and also from kind of a like an off trail area around Antrim Park. And those two locations are 1.77 miles away from each other with my house in the middle. So not bad. And that's not all. I have another really great hack for you, which I just used today. I went for a walk with my radio on my belt and the little earpiece in my ear. And many radios, excluding the Baofeng UV9G. It doesn't have an FM radio, but most of these handheld two-way walkies have an FM radio built in and when you turn the radio on you can listen to the radio and if someone talks it silences the radio the FM radio and then you can hear the transmission and talk back so I bought a on Amazon this little Bluetooth FM transmitter so I just play Spotify on my phone through this and it sends Spotify to through FM to my Wotion or whatever walkie-talkie you have that way you can listen to your music while going for a walk and if someone uh, says hi on the radio you can hear it and talk back through the little lapel mic that hangs here so I've found that to be really nice and it's, it's great for hanging out or just going about your business if you want to have the radio thing going that's a way to do it so hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the video